What's up, YouTube? Just getting off uh, my first day in a new job, and I thought I would do, I w or I wanted to do this review yesterday, or this explanation of the difference between creatine monohydrate and creatine HCL, but I ended up writing out a whole bunch of notes about it, and then I didn't do the video, but we're gonna do it now. So really, the big difference between creatine monohydrate and the creatine HCL is that the creatine HCL or the creatine hydrochloride is binded to salt, whereas the creatine monohydrate is binded to a molecule, a molecule of water. So the idea behind the creatine hydrochloride is that it's supposed to be more soluble in the stomach because of the uh, binding to the salt, I believe. But, uh, you know, based off of, you know, the, well, there's a lot more studies been done on the creatine monohydrate be, uh, rather than all of these other forms of creatine that have come out after, you know, basically trying to replicate or improve upon the original creatine monohydrate. So, uh, you know, I, I actually bought the creatine HCL at first when I went into the store. And then, I, you know, I looked online and because, I, you know, it was sold to me by a sales rep. So I wanted to make sure that, I, you know, I'm getting what I want for the you know best price. And basically, I found out that 98% of the research is done on creatine monohydrate rather than other forms of creatine, like creatine HCL. Um, so the idea behind it is that you could, you take less of it, um, so therefore it's less expensive, right? But because the creatine HCL is three times the uh, amount, even if you did take... So it's, it's three times the price of the creatine monohydrate. So even if it was... Uh, the case that you need to take less, which that isn't even proved. That's just uh, based on like the solu the, sol the supposed solubility levels, or not the supposed, but it's, it's based on the increased solubility levels. But uh, the way that the creatine monohydrate works anyways is it saturates the muscles. So the solubility doesn't make uh, the creatine HCL any better. So really you're just spending three times the amount for no reason. Um, so to, to show you the difference in prices, the first creatine that I bought was the creatine HCL and that was $23.99. And this is with a 20% discount, mind you. And then, uh, you know, I changed my mind in the car. So I went back in and we got this massive container of creatine monohydrate for, uh, $39.99 rather than the $23.99. So for $16 more, we literally got twice the amount of creatine, um, one of the big like reasons why people use the creatine HCL rather than the creatine monohydrate is for the supposed like uh, decrease in bloating, which uh, people that experience bloating on creatine monohydrate, it's like a very, very small subset of the population that like experience like dramatic or like really like a lot of bloating while taking it. And I believe that is like mostly from loading the creatine which you shouldn't have to do anyways. You should only be supplementing with five grams of the creatine, which is what I'm doing. And I've never had a problem with like bloating. Re really what happens, if you're seeing, if you're thinking what's happening to you on creatine monohydrate or is bloating, it's not. What's happening is water retention, which makes your muscles look fuller and bigger. And that's what makes you lift more in the gym. And, uh, you know, it was explained to me in a video, creatine is not like caffeine or something like that. It's something that has to build up in your system to work and give you better pumps and stuff like that. But uh, really the moral of the story is, uh, you know, don't don't let people that are selling supplements uh, in supplement stores sell you something that they're told to push. Um, I, in, my, uh, in my mind, the creatine HCL that they're selling they were probably told to push because it's more is an expensive product. Even though it's marked down 20%, if it's three times the amount of the creatine monohydrate, you're still, uh, you know, you're still way up in the price range. So, you know, it's just going to be a lot more beneficial for you to buy the griddle creatine monohydrate that has all of the studies on it, 100% works. It has a 100% solubility rate. And I mean, unless you have like, a, you're in that so that small subset of the population that uh, gets extreme bloating from the creatine monohydrate, which I think is a very, very small amount of people, I would definitely tell you to go with the creatine monohydrate. Um, the, uh, the videos that I was watching, you know, before I did this video, um, one guy, he was actually selling, selling a creatine supplement, so he admitted he has a little bit of a bias there. 
but um, I'm not selling any creatine. So I have no reason behind, uh, you know, telling you guys to buy the creatine monohydrate over the creatine HCL. But really the, the big matter is that it's just gonna be three times the amount of money. And unless it's like, you know, again, unless you have that, you're in that small subset of the population where the creatine monohydrate does that to you, then I would definitely save yourself the money and get the creatine monohydrate instead. But that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have any information saying that creatine HCL is more effective, drop it in the comments. Supposedly, that information does not exist. Um, I guess it works the same. It, it can work like as effective as creatine, but it's definitely not going to work better. So there's no reason to be spending all that extra money. So that's it. I appreciate it, guys.